Oh, I can. Okay. <laughs> nice. I'm just gonna use this shield. Nice. Um, I did... I do like this shield, and I would use it if I could, which is now. I'm gonna use it now. But I could never use the shield. That's because you need to kill like a hundred knights to get the shield. And that's not easy. And I just... I forgot these guys exist, so I just screwed myself. <laughs> I need to get some, uh, yeah, of that. Oh, I forgot. This sword actually has a, uh, a special move, I think. Well, that was a waste. It didn't do anything. But uh, I think it's like a long range um, melee attack. And it's really good for killing uh, a lot of enemies in the hallway. So like in this, in the current situation. So anyway, I'm going to have to summon Solaire without summoning the other guy. Because the problem is that if I summon both people... They will kill the boss really, really fast, and I won't be able to get the halberd tail. Which, I don't know why I'm greeting for it, because, well, I don't really need it anyway. <gasps> Did I forget Solaire? I summoned him, right? Did I? Please tell me I summoned him. I'm not going to be able to solo this. I mean, I could, but I don't want to like die 50 times and complain about it. Oh well. I'm I'm just going to go for it, I guess. Dark Souls 2 they have this boss fight, but there's like infinite gargoyles. Alright, oh, I have to block. I feel like alluring skulls. Oh wow, that was easy. Wow. I wish he would just jump off the edge. Can you jump off the edge? Why is this so easy? Jeez. He's got no health. No, block! Oh my god. Fuck. <clears throat> so anyway, that happened. Um, yeah, that fire is insane. Anyway, I got the the weapon. So at this point, I don't even need to. I don't need to use a. Uh, It's kind of cool, it bends. Anyway, so I don't actually... Test. This is the front. So anyway, at this point, I don't need to only use Solaire. I can just use both of them. So I guess I'm gonna go do that. Anyway, I don't know about this weapon because it doesn't have much damage in it. Hell, it's kind of weak.
So anyway, I think to get the lot track to show up, you have to go to um, Firelink. And at Firelink, he will talk to you and then you should be able to summon him. After, I mean. Oh, hello. Hello there. I believe we are not acquainted. I am Petrus of Thoroughland. Have you business with us? If not, I prefer to keep a distance, if possible. You want to fight, bro? Hello. I realize that I have requested that we retain our distance. But I also want you to know that it is not meant in ill will. Here, take this as a token of peace. No, go ahead. It's for you. Just gave me a coin, really, dude. Yeah, I have my ten shot, ten flasks. Um, all right, so let's go talk to the guy. Where's he at? There he is. What you doing here, bro? Are you eyeing this uh, fine piece of ass? Oh, I can reinforce my ass's flask. I forgot. Yes. Yes. Okay. Ah. Hello there. I have your reward. Please. Accept it. Oh, cool. I got metal. I am grateful to you for freeing me. <laughs> <laughs> not <laughs> enough for you. Well, let's not be greedy now. <laughs> so I think you can actually kill him right now to get his ring, but you don't get the armor later. So I'm just not gonna kill him yet. I am gonna reverse my Halloween though. Because I actually human actually need to be human to summon the two NPCs. Wow, look at me just stare at that <laughs> fire. Still better uh, facial animations than Mass Effect 3. That's kind of weird. Did I get two humanities? There you go. So that's Law Track over there. So we want to summon the stuff and then we want to go as fast as possible. Because if you enter the boss room before they spawn, the boss has less HP. Oh, come on. Just let me, just let me smash. Come on. Oh, okay, they're in here already. Well, that was kind of interesting. For a split second there, I was able to see the bot bar. I wonder if I can take off this tail again. Okay. No, you just poked the crap out of me. But yeah, this boss fight is so easy with these guys. They will literally just do everything for you. Oh, he died. Oh no. Oh, cool. We got a Hellbeard. Didn't we have a Hellbeard? Yeah. Oh no, that was a tail axe. Man, I am not getting any of the good helmets. What's up with that? Like. Come on. Like there was actually a uh, a another helmet I missed out. It was the pig helmet, then the gargoyle helmet. I'm not getting any of the loot, man. I don't think I can get that in any way either.
I'm, I keep getting a humanity. What's up with that? Also, what's up with all these floors? Like, you can't get off. <laughs> like, even if this was real life, how would you even... I guess you'd be able to grab the ladder and just swing yourself around to get on this floor. I don't know. I think the building design for this building could have been better. I always like to look at the view here. Can you go to that castle? I don't think so. Or wait, is it... No, you can. That's the... Uh, isn't that the... Huh. I'm not sure. I think that could be the fortress. But I'm pretty sure the fortress is somewhere else. Where is the fortress? A ring a ding dong, I'm number one. I'm the number one pimp living under the sun. A ding dong dizzy, we about to get busy. Got a gun and I'm red hot, ready to run. Actually, I think it has to be the fortress. There's no other fortresses, fortresses around. So yeah, we're gonna go there. So that's pretty cool how in this game you see future areas before you even get there. Didn't even slide off. Greetings. I am Oswald of Herie, the Pop. And thou art a friend. For thee, a warm welcome. Cometh thou to confess? Or to accuse? For indeed, all sin is my domain. Yeah, I did your mom. There, that's my confession. So this poison bite ring is really good. Thou art welcome any time. It is only in the swamp. But that's that's actually the place we're gonna go next. So I do want to buy it, but at the same time, it's really expensive, and I feel like I could have better uses for that expensive, yeah, those souls. I'm gonna go upgrade my shield. Actually, should I upgrade the bowler shield now? I guess I should, actually. Oh, mistake. Damn, you just one-shot him. Why are you not running, dude? You should be. Okay, that was weird. He was block attacking. Yeah, look at that AI all confused. But like, where did he go? I don't know. Whoa, big damage. Big boy damage coming through. That's what happens when you swing at the wrong time. Yay, I got a Tyranite Shard. Which cost 800 souls. So, it's pretty good for me. Not every enemy drops a Tyranite Shard. I think only those uh, undead elite people do. Actually, maybe the boulder shield uses twinkling titanite. I might not be able to upgrade it.
Well, hello again. You seem to be doing all right. Need anything forged? Oh. No, it just takes normal ones. That's great. So, I don't like the boulder shield because... Go get yourself killed. Neither of us want to see you go hollow. It has pretty weak defenses when it comes to like magic and fire, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's got no no magic defense and it's got... Yeah. But it's 100% physical block in most of well, this game. Well, again, you seem to be neat. Most of this game is physical attacks, so... That will really help. should really invest some of this uh, some of these souls into some endurance I forgot about that did I just level up the wrong thing 106 stamina I guess it doesn't matter if you invest it into endurance or if you invest it into uh the other thing because if you invest into stamina you only get one or two points or something like that well I'll use it me go get you all right well time to go hey can you get one of those shields over there do you have that what me Hammer! Look at that! He doesn't have any. Oh, that's the shield I'm using, or was using. But look at that! He doesn't have. Wait a second. For a second, I thought that was the magic block shield, but it's not. Anyway, he doesn't have those tower shields. That guy's a scammer. So anyway, I have a good feeling about uh, Havel, killing Havel, I mean, and uh, killing the Dark Knight mini boss. So I guess let's just go do that. It's not blocked. What's over here? That's very interesting. But there's nothing there, I'm pretty sure. So we're gonna rest on this bonfire. Because we need all these enemies to go back to normal. And then we're going to take on the first mini boss, and that's the Dark Knight over here. Whoa, almost walked off the edge. Now this guy is not to be messed with. Like he will knock you out in one hit. Yeah, take it. Take it, you dirty Dark Knight. You're not bad, man. Whoa. Wow, you're making yourself look so easy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, no, that's that's perfectly fine. I, I guess I just got it. Wow, I actually got his sword. That's pretty cool. What's his sword like? Well, it does tons of damage, and you can use it as a shield, but it's got pretty low stability. 
32 strength, 18 dexterity. It looks really badass, but that's about it. It doesn't... Uh, I don't think it's that strong. So now we're gonna go kill Havel. Oh, you're kidding me. Okay, so yeah, the dragon does come back. Um, so that's the basement. That's where we have to go move on next. But... We need to go kill Havel first to get his ring. Well, we actually don't need his ring because we're probably going to run around naked the whole time. I think I like the uh, Hollow Warrior armor. Something else that's cool about this game is that you can actually run around um, you're, you're killing me, right? Okay, good. I was just about to get super frustrated over that. Anyway, uh, you can actually navigate the menu while walking around and going through the game, which is pretty cool. Alright, well, let's go take care of Havel now. I'm just gonna drink up because he hits pretty hard. I think his uh, Dragon Tooth is one of the highest hitting weapons in the game. It's not in the, you know, it's not in the top 10, but it's like really, really high. Hello there, bro. Yes, yes, do some more of that. I'm making this look so easy, like... I just remember spending like half an hour doing this. Come on, swing, bad bear, swing. Whoa. Like, used up all of my stamina. Okay, apparently he's invincible on wake up. I think that's how much damage it did after he blocked it. Oh no, apparently if you just hit him normally, it doesn't do any damage, wow. Oh, there's his ring. And that's a new area. Alright, well we're basically done with the uh, undead uh, church, I think, whatever it's called. So yeah, I guess we're just gonna go down the basement and I'll see you guys in the next episode. So this is the area where we're going to go next. Alright, well, thanks for watching. Bye.